The sun rose slowly over the vast expanse of the savanna, its golden rays casting a warm glow upon the rolling plains and scattering shadows across the dusty earth. In the heart of the village, nestled beneath the shade of a towering baobab tree, sat the great chieftain, a figure revered by all who dwelled in the surrounding lands. With a weathered face etched with the wisdom of countless seasons, he presided over the affairs of the village with a steady hand and a keen eye. On this particular morning, two men stood before the great chieftain, their faces etched with concern and frustration. The elder of the two, Mzi, was a herder of cattle, his rugged features weathered by years spent under the scorching African sun. Beside him stood a younger man, his posture exuding confidence and self-assurance, a stark contrast to the weariness etched into Mzi's brow. Great chieftain, Mzi began, his voice rough with emotion, this man, he gestured towards his companion, has stolen one of my prized sheep under the cover of darkness. I demand justice for this theft. The younger man scoffed, his voice laced with disdain. A thief, great chieftain, he retorted, his tone mocking. I have no need to steal what I already possess in abundance. If I wanted sheep, I would have purchased them with my own wealth. The great chieftain regarded the two men with a measured gaze, his eyes betraying a hint of amusement at their conflicting claims. He knew that this dispute ran deeper than a simple accusation of theft, it was a test of character, a trial that would reveal the true nature of each man's soul. Silence he commanded, his voice resonating with authority. This matter requires careful consideration. Return to your homes, both of you, and ponder the events of this day. Tomorrow, I shall present you with a riddle. Only he who finds the answer shall lay claim to the sheep. Go now, and let wisdom guide your hearts. With a wave of his hand, the great chieftain dismissed the two men, their heads bowed in deference as they made their way back to the village. But even as they departed, the echoes of their dispute lingered in the air, a discordant melody that spoke of unresolved tensions and unanswered questions. That evening, as the village settled into the quiet rhythm of the night, Mzi sat in his humble dwelling, his thoughts consumed by the events of the day. Beside him, his daughter Abony, a young woman of remarkable intelligence and insight, listened intently as he recounted the encounter with the great chieftain. A riddle, Mzi mused, his voice tinged with uncertainty. What could it mean, Abony? What test does the great chieftain wish to set before us? Abony, her eyes alight with curiosity, pondered her father's words for a moment before a spark of inspiration lit up her features. Father, she exclaimed, her voice alive with excitement, perhaps the answer lies not in the theft of the sheep, but in the passage of time itself. Time, after all, cannot be stolen, yet it slips away from us like sand through our fingers. Mzi stared at his daughter in astonishment, a flicker of hope igniting in his heart. Could it be that Abony had stumbled upon the solution to the great chieftain's riddle? With newfound determination, he vowed to put her theory to the test. The following morning dawned bright and clear, the sky awash with hues of pink and gold as the sun rose majestically over the savannah. 
As Mzi and Abney made their way to the great chieftain's abode, a sense of anticipation hung in the air, mingling with the morning mist like a veil of mystery. When they arrived, they found the great chieftain waiting for them beneath the shade of the baobab tree, his wise eyes twinkling with anticipation. With a knowing smile, he greeted them warmly, eager to hear their solution to the riddle. Mzi, Abney, he said, his voice carrying the weight of authority, have you found the answer to my riddle? Mzi stepped forward, his chest swelling with pride as he recounted Abney's brilliant deduction. Great chieftain, he declared, the answer lies in the passage of time. Time, the eternal river that flows ceaselessly, cannot be stolen nor contained. It slips away from us even as we grasp at its fleeting moments. The great chieftain's smile widened, his eyes alight with approval. Indeed, you have unlocked the truth, he proclaimed, his voice resounding with certainty. The sheep shall return to you, Mzi, for you have proven yourself worthy of its care. But it was not just Mzi who had earned the chieftain's praise that day. Abney, the young woman whose keen intellect had guided them to victory, received a special commendation from the great chieftain himself. Abney, he said, his voice filled with admiration, your wisdom surpasses your years. Never underestimate the power of your intellect, for it is a gift that shall serve you well in the years to come. With the matter resolved and justice restored, Mzi and Abney returned to their village, their hearts light with the knowledge that they had faced the great chieftain's challenge and emerged victorious. And as they walked side by side, the sun climbed higher in the sky, casting its warm embrace upon the savanna below, a testament to the enduring power of wisdom and the timeless beauty of the African wilderness.